So I'm going to show you the process of timber framing really. So they've brought it up out the ground. This is a big fat radon barrier going all the way through. Got the air bricks, which are, that goes down of course in underneath the block and beam. Down like so and that's any of the radon gases can come and find their way out of the vent. All right, so first job is you've got that there all the way around. Absolute nightmare of a job getting these corners right on the radon. Okay. So yeah, the next layer obviously you've got the timber frame that comes on. Okay, sits on the inside skin. All right, sits on the inside skin. And then the new, the DPM comes along it and will lap up into there, up underneath there. Okay, that's our dolly block. Okay, that goes all the way around. And the timber frame double sole plate, double head plate sits on there, okay? And the heads, a little above the head gets framed out like so. We're going up a level here. What they've got, these are called barriers, cavity barriers. Okay, as we go up, they go frame around the window. So the build up is timber frame, 11 mil OSB and then a breathable membrane on there. On this one we've got a couple of girders going through and then diminishing trusses up the roof with the lay boards, um, lay board noggins cut in so when the body boards go up you've still got something to fix the end of the rafters. Okay, And then you've got the diminishing trusses in between going up the rafter there. Okay. NHBC guy wants to see this at every stage. Up there you've got full protection, little grids that they put out. Okay, the dorm around here. Got the second one here. Comes up. Here they're just going to start framing this one out. So you've got that plot there, the frame gets delivered comes up and then you've got this here and over here is the next stage we've got fire socks all the way through okay got DP, vertical DPC obviously it's got to be finished up the top there okay 50 mil cavity and then you've got a timber frame brickwork tyre so any water comes down and out okay these black bits of tape they indicate where the studs go for the brickies to fix their ties, you can't just fix it anywhere. And then we've got the seals going in afterwards. So we've got the brick on the outside. Okay, and what the NHBC inspector is looking for is a nice clear cavity. Show you here. This is obviously the next stage, plasterboarding. But on the inside, the timber frame is filled with insulation, and then back a VCL, which is a vapor control layer, is put on, and then it's all battened off. Okay, ready for the plasterboard. So you can see it there. Vapor control layer. Okay, battened off. 12.5 board. Okay, and inside, obviously. You can see benefit in the framing. Brickwork's not even done on the outside. The inside with plasterboard in fixing up. Got next plot, a little bit further on, so dry lined. Okay, tape, tape and jointed. A lot of people refer to it on site. You just tape the joints, screw holes like this. Okay, advantage of this is over skimming these things quick if you've got the trades on site. And also, there's not a lot of moisture in the building. Okay, all the way through. But once you've taken and joined it, they've got to let it dry two days in the summer, up to five days in the winter, and then they come back through and do a final sand. So this one's getting final sanded on Monday, and it's Friday today. So it'll be nice and dry. Then the paint comes in. So this is a timber frame that's been complete. Up here, this gets uh, silicone in, went to here. Okay, and then up, up underneath, you get a little bit of foam that goes in here underneath the soffit. Now that's because the timber frame settles 10 millimetres for every floor. Okay, so there's a bit of settlement in there. Alright? Okay. So that's what they're looking for. Okay, so that's the 
excellent example of the DPC coming up. DPC comes over the top, keep everything dry. Ricky's filled that up through. You can see here that they've tied it in all the way on the openings. Okay, and what we're looking for is a nice clear cavity. in the frame, like I've said, not even finished on the outside, but we're finished on the inside, just a second fix. The sparking starting in here. The electrician has been in, done all his bits, paints back in Monday morning, it's Friday today, lovely. Now this is finished in the frame plot. Really nice standard. Really nice. Just snag this. Minimal snags. Really nice. Just ready to be carpeted. See a bit patching to do in the corner there. Really, really nice stuff. Really nice high end finish by both estates. This is what you've got to go through before you sign it off. Inspection reports. All the way through. Notes. Because today, what we're doing is working towards something called a CML, which is a certificate for mortgage lenders. Okay, so hopefully getting it through today. Final checked, but real high quality job, high quality project by the team, really well thought for, thought through, good finish. So lovely development at Ede Meadow by Baker Estates. Really enjoyed myself this week. Then we've got the building control NHBC guarantee. Book, let's one out version eight. So if we turn to the structures bit, you can see the detail here. So what I've looked at there in the video is pretty much just exactly the same detail apart from here that they show the radon barrier down below um, on top of the earth, below a blind in a 50 mil blind in the concrete. Now that could be easier to do it that way, but it could also be more costly. So it swings around about there, but that is the detail there with a radon barrier. And you pretty much got the same photograph here, but without a radon barrier. So you can, this is the vent that I showed you coming in down underneath to air this space here. All right. And then double sole plate, and it's just saying that the breathing membrane should come down 25 mil below the sole plate. Okay. That is page 153. You can also download the on online um, version if LABC warranty version 8 you can get it free as a pdf this book's 49.99 so a bit pricey there um but no good good stuff get get downloading the pdf loads of interesting facts and really good drawings in there for you guys so this link links nicely into our unit structural carcassing 